Hello everybody, my name is Richard Vigorelli and this is Vigorelli Institute. Now, um, carrying on with this whole thing, let's do another character from my book. Okay. The name of that book is The Hidden Race. Uh, it is available on Amazon. Uh, it is available in hard copy, uh, well, hardback, softback, and um, ebook. Okay. Go ahead and check it out. Just search my name, Richard Figarelli. On to. So, we've got another character here, and we're going to stay kind of in Dorian's camp for a little while. Yes, this is the third one. I'm not going to explain what the Fae are here. If you want to know that you're only watching this one for the first time, what am I talking about, go watch the first two. A lot easier. Or get the book, Homo Sapiens Mysticus. Again, available, Amazon. Go! Alrighty. So, um, we're going to talk about Percy. His name is Percy Lineman. Okay. Percy is human. He's also huge. Percy's about 100, 120 pounds overweight. Um, I patterned him after a guy that I went to high school with. And a few other people that I went to college with. Um... He's loud. He's annoying. He's uh, he he has trouble finding clothes that fit him. He's that big. His gut routinely sticks out. He stinks. Uh, he's got dark hair that's greasy. It's long and it's pulled back into a ponytail. He's got this scruffy beard and he wears glasses. Okay. Most of his T-shirts are kind of nerdy, so you know they've got dumb designs on them. Uh, ridiculous figures and things like that because he thinks they're cute, okay? Or he's cheap, one of the two. And he and he wears uh, Converse. Yeah, at least I described them. I didn't name Converse, okay? Because Converse doesn't actually exist in my universe. So there. So uh, Percy, uh, in relation to Dorian, Percy is his friend and manager, okay? This guy answers the phones. Um, interviews and hire staff before Dorian does, and basically makes Dorian's life easier, in theory. The thing is, Percy's also kind of an idiot. Yes, he is very, very intelligent with what he does. He's kind of dumber than a brick when it comes to practicalities, okay? Uh, he often drinks to excess, one of the reasons why he's so overweight. And he eats in excess, and he eats garbage food. Who does this sound like? Hmm, I don't know. And he's, like, super-duper into, like, pop culture and stuff. Yeah. If he was in our universe, he would be super-duper into um, DC and Marvel <clears throat> until the newer stuff came out, in which case, nerd rage. Okay. So, uh, oh, what am I missing? Well, powers. He's human. He doesn't have any powers. Moving on. Told you about his personality. His motivation is, well, he's a nerd. What motivates your standard comic book nerd? Okay. His goal is to obtain and consume stuff, make money to do it, and maybe kind of, sort of, if he's lucky, get a girlfriend. That's about it. Not a lot to this guy. I actually expand a lot more on him in book two, which is, as I'm recording this, almost out of alpha phase. And I think I'll record a video next about what that means. Okay. Yeah, I'll explain the whole writing process. Okay. All right. So uh, that's about all I've got for you there. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit that big red subscribe button. Uh, leave a like. Leave a comment. Please do leave a comment. Okay. And um, also, feel free to visit my website, Vim and Vigorelli. Link will be in the description. Uh, from there, you can also portal into my merchandise store where I have things like 
this available. I've got this available. If I can turn it. And other such things. I've got flags, puzzles, mugs, t-shirts, leggings. I believe I even have socks. They are awesome. If you know what that's from, 50 bonus points. Okay. And uh, there we are. All right. So I will be back later, I think, with an explanation about how writing actually works for those of you aspiring to create. Which, by the way, we need them. Go Iron Age. All right. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.